This is an updated video of some of the antennas that I'm currently using. This is a Lazy H wire antenna. It's basically centered on the CB band. Uh, it uses four half wave elements fed in phase and it's fed with a 450 ohm ladder line right there in the center. You can see that. And I'm using half wave spacing between the two bottom elements and the two top elements. According to the AWRL antenna handbook, this antenna is supposed to have about 6 dB gain over a half wave dipole and I am seeing that in real world. Uh, when I compare it with a half wave horizontal dipole it tends to beat the dipole on received by about 2S units and transmit they say it's about the same. Also this is a multi-band antenna if you feed it with a um, feed it with ladder line back to an antenna tuner like I'm doing and I'm also using a 4 to 1 ballon. I have a 4 to 1 ballon just before the tuner. Uh, it'll cover 13 megahertz to 30 megahertz and everything in between. As you go down in frequency, the gain decreases, and as you go up in frequency, the gain increases. It has a figure eight pattern, uh, good sharp nulls off the side, so you can put something you don't want to hear off the side of it and cut them out. It's bi directional, so the lobes come out uh, perpendicular or broadside to the antennas where your gain is, and the nulls are off the side. Now the vertical part, you see, that's just rope I'm using to space, and I'm using halfway spacing at 27 megahertz. And there's the other side right there. And the background, you can see an antenna going straight up to that tree limb. That's a, that's a wire J-pole made out of 450 ohm ladder line, 1 to 1 voltage ballon, and 14 gauge stranded insulated wire. Uh, so that's not part of the uh, Lazy H, but I'll do another video on that later. Anyway, I'll move around, see if you can maybe see the other side of it a little better. Uh, I'm using PVC insulators. If you want to see a full draw up or write up of this, just search the internet for Lazy H antenna. This one is center fed. Uh, you can see right there, it's fed right in the center. The Lazy H comes off the side, or the ladder line comes off the side, and then right in the middle of it is where the Lazy H connects that goes back to the shack. And that's supposed to be the better way to feed this antenna. So I'll rotate around and let you try to see it a little better. The wire's so thin it doesn't really show up as well on my little display on my camera, so pardon me if I point at sky instead of the, the antenna, but... There you go. I'm really pleased with this antenna. I have two of them and pointed in different directions. This one's pointed toward the Great Lake States. I'm in South Carolina. Here comes some big bird. <laughs> anyway, uh, the other one's pointed up towards uh, Pennsylvania, up the East Coast, United States, and also covers Western Europe. But these antennas work real well. Very quiet. When I compare it to the halfway vertical, as far as talking skiff, it really rocks. Makes a big difference. Uh, to the dipole, it's about two S units, but very quiet too. The uh, the elements are in phase as far as broadside, but as far as straight up and down, they're out of phase. So any noise coming down from the sky directly above it gets canceled out. So it's a very quiet antenna, and boy, does it hear! It's got a great receive on it. Generally, if you can't hear, if there's any skip at all, this thing will hear it. And uh, if there's nothing heard, there is no skip. I mean, I, I just <laughs> it's amazing how well these things hear. I'm surprised more hams aren't using them. But you can find the plans in the AWRL handbook. There's also some websites that talk about it. One website talks about feeding it at the bottom with a twist. Don't do that. You lose the multi-band capabilities and you don't have as much gain. And spacing becomes more critical. So anyway, there's a Lazy H wire antenna. And believe me, it rocks. You, you like building antennas, you need to look into this. It really works very, very well.